Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew, and I like to hoard free stuff. So, I have a bunch of wristbands sitting over here. You know, some of them have broke over the years, but I still keep them for sentimental value, of course. And luckily, I've taken pictures of them while they're new. So, I'll show them at the end. And we're just going to get right into the collection. Let's, let's, uh, let's hit it up, man. So, this is the, um, the full collection right now, with even with the broken ones. Um, some of them are doubles, because when... They break. I like to have backups to wear. So we're about to get into that as well. All right, so I just organized them. I have a little system going here. And uh, I'm setting up the ring light. And we're about to just dive right in and get into explaining all these awesome wristbands. All right, so this first wristband that I'm going to be showing y'all is a C Spire Tech Movement wristband. I got this at P2P, which is a Pathways to Possibilities in eighth grade. Here's a picture with me and Louie the Lightning Bug from that same day. You know him, the Mississippi Power mascot, absolute legend, great guy. This next one I'm going to be showing y'all is a Coast Guard wristband. It says Go Coast Guard on it, and it's got their logo. It's a really great wristband. I mean, what can I say? Alright, this next wristband has a little story to it. It says, Be still and know that I am God. And then you flip it. And then it says, for with God, nothing is possible. Now, I love God, man. He's a great guy. And this wristband actually has a little backstory to it. So I was at a hotel somewhere, and then these two guys approached me and said, hey, we want to come to the van real quick. We want to give you something. And I was like, um, I want to say maybe, maybe 12 years old. I think my mom was in the bathroom. And I followed this guy out to his van, and he said, here's a wristband. And I said, thank you. And, you know, maybe it was God that told me to trust these people. But I'm really glad that I did. It's a really great wristband, great religious wristband. Super glad that I have it. These next two wristbands that I'm going to be showcasing are from Camp Hood, which is in Hazelhurst, Mississippi. It is a summer camp, and I went there a few times, and I have two wristbands from it. Um, it's the same design on each of them, just uh, different colors. This one's red, the other one's orange. If you like drugs, you'll like this next wristband. <laughs> and then it folds, and you got the other side here. It's got some more propaganda on it. This next wristband I got from a career fair that they had at the school. It says, my McDonald's. Empower. So the reason it says empower is because there is nothing more empowering than eating a Big Mac, drinking a McFlurry, and having a large side of fries with it, man. That just makes me feel so empowered, man. This next one is a little out of shape. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if there's one that's a little out of shape or it's got broken, I actually took some pictures of them when I first got them. So here's a picture of it when it was in good shape, and here it is now. Coming up next, we got this awesome Guggen Bates wristband. This thing is so legendary. Um, my buddy Connor Ray had it, and he was like, man, I really want that Apple Watch. So I uh, I traded the Apple Watch for this wristband, so it, it's, worth, it's worth a lot, man. Coming up next, we have these Determined to Rise. It is a Neolife. PT. I have two of them. Coming up next, we have a Jamel Richardson wristband. If y'all don't know who he is, he's a guitar player. He's a really great guitar player. He's in um, like the Gulf Coast area. He plays in Alabama, he plays in Mississippi a lot. Great guy. Good player. We got this Exhibitioner. Spring Fest 2015. It's a music festival that um they have on the Gulf Coast and me and my mom like worked a soda booth. So we got these cool wristbands and we got to listen to the music. I have two of these. So prom, please return on Monday. So at Van Cleve they have these things where like they have somebody come in and talk about like drinking and dri drinking and driving. Like with prom, like, you know, don't drink and drive when you're going to prom or you'll crash and die. So, you know, please return on Monday. I'm pretty sure prom actually stands for promenade, but we ain't gonna talk about that. 
These are all wristbands from MGCCC. We are getting into the college section of wristbands now. Um, every time the MGCCC comes to the school, they usually give out shirts, wristbands, pencils. They give out all types of stuff. And I always make sure to get a bunch of these. So what it says on it, it says, go big, go Gulf Coast. And then it says it again. Over here, we have some more MGCCC wristbands, but they switched up the design this time. They made a bigger font, go Gulf Coast, MGCCC. Go big, go Gulf Coast, that's what it says on it. I got two of those. We have one more design of MGCCC wristbands. Hashtag in the blue. MGCCC, they make really great products, man. No matter what they do, they always gotta show out. So I'm really glad that they're always up in their design with their wristbands and they're coming to the schools and giving them out because, man, I love collecting wristbands. I almost forgot this one. This one is probably their weakest design, but it's still pretty cool. blue for you it's another mgccc wristband one continuing on with the motif of colleges we have a delta state wristband i'll be honest it's a good wristband but it's nowhere near as cool as my delta state guitar pick with the fighting ochre on the back coming up next we've got the colleges this is a southeastern louisiana university wristband i have a few of these as well they're another college that comes by the school a lot and talks to kids um People come into like the college and career readiness classes or like have a booth set up outside for people to come get wristbands and gotta take them. Coming up next, we have a University of South Alabama wristband. This one's pretty cool because I was actually hospitalized at the um, at South Alabama last week because I had um, internal bleeding in my intestines. So they had to take out a Meckles diverticulum out of my intestines, so I like stopped bleeding. And um, it was all at the University of South Alabama's hospital system. It was pretty good. Um, I'd rate their hospital system um, 10 Meckles diverticulums out of 10. This one is a one of a kind when it comes to my collection. This is a Crayola wristband. I've had it since I was a itty bitty boy, and it's a, it's a big one. Now, it's time for the broken wristbands. These are some of the fallen soldiers that I have lost in battle. You know, I wear a lot of wristbands and over time, you know, you just I take it off one day to go take a shower and they pop and you know, it's a sad thing, but like I said, I take pictures of them. Now, last but not least, I got to say RIP to one of them. And this was a really great wristband. But one time, Lainey's sister spent the night at my house and she let her cat come over and I took my wristband off to go to sleep and the cat ate my wristband. So look, Aaliyah, thank you for visiting me in the hospital last week, that was really nice of you, and congratulations on getting married, that was really cool, but I still haven't forgiven you for letting your cat eat my wristband, but hey, I got the picture, that's all that matters, right? Thank you everybody so much for watching. Not only are these just wristbands, but they're also fragments of a story about my life. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. Maybe next time we can get into the business card collection.